Hi everyone and welcome back. Yesterday after posting my video on uh, the new stamps that I got from Pink uh, Fresh Studio, I asked you to let me know which ones were your favorite and it was actually a tie between the um, Hearts Bouquet and uh, the Sweet Treats. So these are the two stamps that I will be working with today to create my cards. So let's start first with the lovely girl here. I'm going to stamp her with black ink and I'm using my stamping platform just because this is quite of a big stamp and I want to have a good impression. I'm working with black archival ink which is going to be permanent and I'm stamping everything on uh, Bristol paper because I am planning to use my Zig Clean markers and I find that they work great on this type of paper. All the brass pens that I use for coloring my image today come from the same set. This is the 36 set of Zig Clean Color Markers. And uh, I think that if you have this, you pretty much have any color that you might need. Now I'm working on Bristol paper because I find that it works great with these colors and uh, I am not going to do any blending with water. I'm just going to color with those markers directly on top of my paper. And here I'm doing a little bit of shading. All I'm doing is adding a brush stroke with a darker color on each of those flowers at the bottom of its flower. And this is going to give the illusion of a rounded and more um, dimensional flower. Now I will do the same thing for uh, the rest of uh, the flowers using always a darker shade of marker. And then I will go ahead and add some white highlights on one side of all those uh, heart flowers. I used one of my stitched rectangle dies to cut out my image and now I'm cutting out a pattern paper. This is going to cover up completely the card front. So uh, before I go ahead and assemble my card, I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I went with the one that says celebrate your day. I think this design is very versatile and you can use it for birthdays, for anniversaries, for congratulations or even for Mother's Day cards. So I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my white panel and stick that on top of my pattern paper. And then I used tape adhesive at the back of the whole panel and stick that on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now to embellish my card a little bit more, I'm going to use this thread. So I'm cutting out a little piece of this yellow thread. I'm going to tie a tiny bow and then I'm going to stick this on top of my card as if it is wrapping the bouquet. To secure my bow on uh, the card, I'm going to use a dot of this uh, liquid glue. This is actually Nouveau Deluxe. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess of those uh, bow tails. And my card is pretty much finished. All I'm going to do is to finish it off by adding some uh, glitter dots with my Nouveau Drops. And now let's move on to the second card for today. For that I'm using the Sweet Treats by Pink Fresh Studio and I'm going to create a very tall birthday cake. So I'm going to use all these three different layers and I'm going to stamp one on top of the other. I'm not going to try to match everything exactly on top. I will instead leave some white space in between. This is going to make my life easy and it's going to give a great look at the end. So I'm using uh, three different colors, a light pink, a light yellow and a light blue and I'm going to interchange these as I go all the way to the top. Now the stamp set is packed with different elements that you can use to decorate your cake. So first I'm going to use uh, those uh, little uh, sprinkles and uh, I'm going to stamp them on top of each of those layers using the exact same uh, ink that I used for the layer. So I'm going for a tone on tone look here, nothing too vibrant. And with all those lights that I have on my table, you probably can't see the difference, but trust me, it's there, just a very subtle texture. Now I need to add more embellishments such as the candles on top but I need to make sure that I don't go all the way over the length of uh, a card. So I need to trim it down, make sure that this panel that I end up with is um, five and a half tall. And now I can easily use all the rest of the embellishments since I know the length of uh, my panel. So now you can stamp as many candles as you like on top. I went with one candle and a couple of uh, sticks with those stars on top. 
And now I am going to do some embossing to embellish my cake a little bit more. So I'm using one of the garlands for the set and I'm going to stamp it in two of those layers that I have for my cake. And then I'm also going to stamp a tiny little heart. Apply my white embossing powder and heat set everything. Now for this card I was going for a very pale look, but depending on uh, what you are going for, you can always use more vibrant colors. For my sentiment I stamp uh, the word uh, celebrate with black ink, and then I'm going to trim this panel down and stick it on top of this pattern paper that has black and white stripes. And I think it goes perfectly with the look that I was going for. Finally, I'm going to embellish my card with three little uh, golden stars that I have. These were actually in a bag with uh, star sequins. I am sticking them down with my Nouveau Deluxe white glue. And uh, all that's left to do is to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Both the stamps that I used uh, today are on sale and you will find a coupon code on my blog as well. So make sure to check out the supply list there. These were the cards for today, I hope you had fun, that you got inspired and I'll see you all tomorrow with a very fun event. Thank you all for watching.